One of my faves, Andrade, debuts on SmackDown mm. on this episode. Uh, what was your thoughts for him back in? We've touched on him before in previous episodes about maybe the uh, not speaking a good English. Who knows? Yeah, yeah. Could, could, maybe could be. that was. Could be. Look, and that also could be yesterday's news, and sure. you and I are perpetuating it. And and, I, and that, I'm 100% okay with that, if that's the answer. I just want us to be conscious of it. Because I think, and I think our business strategy thinks, dare I say, um, we're a global company. Yeah. You know what I mean? There ain't no two ways about it. This company is not a domestic company. And, and it is a... It is a, a quickly expanding globally and so i actually think the fact that he can't speak english is not as big a deal uh you know what i'm saying it's not like maybe maybe it's not a big deal maybe it doesn't and maybe my dumb redneck butt don't know the don't know the difference but i'm I'm trying to catch up. You know what I mean? So I'm just saying maybe we're looking at it wrong and maybe that's not how the world looks at it. Maybe that's how my dumb ass looks at it. Well, when, to... you, when you look back and think about where you were in 2018 and when he's making his debut, yeah. what did you think his ceiling was? I, I did. Well, Whatever it wanted it, to be? It, yeah, honestly, yes. Because I knew he could go and I knew immediately I wanted him and Ray in the ring because I knew they were ratings and I knew they, would, they were eye openers for people just like me who watched when Ray and, and all those people came into uh, WCW, uh, Eddie and, and Dean Malenko, dare I say Dean Malenko, and the, just, just the, the cruiserweights came onto the scene in the wrestling world in a way that outshined the heavyweights, you know what I mean? And so it was, to me, I wanted Ray and Andrade to give people that were the layperson a, a dose of uh of lucha libre you know what i mean and what these guys can do and so i know we don't do lucha libre uh rules and all that but like i remember we had several matches with those two and it was strictly because i knew i wanted to watch them and story to me sometimes be damned you know what i mean like uh, we got to the story of uh of uh <laughs> I've said this before but of sean spears and and shinsuke nakamura uh, just because Shinsuke Nakamura said, I'm going to beat you in the last man standing. I don't know why I'm Spanish speaking all of a sudden. He said, I'm going to beat you in a last man standing match, and then I'm going to count to 10. And he said that on TV. And then on Twitter, Sean Spears uh, said, did somebody say 10? <laughs> I know that's not funny to anybody except me and Johnny Russo. But that a match happened like that on SmackDown Incredible. and a good match. And it was a good, uh, leader into the pay-per-view, uh, for, for Shinsuke. Anyway, Do I love wrestling. <laughs> I love the fun of it though, man. If you take yourself or it too seriously, you kind of piss me off. <laughs>